because it's a basic attack that's why we can increase it and let's see now 210,000 on a tag in very nice and then I'm just gonna tag in Luke Kang and you're gonna see why I think it's one of the best uncommon pieces in the game special 2 everything red color look at that damage but I did get 100 look 100% special damage boost why do I get 100 I thought I'm supposed to get 60 because I only have three unique buffs right let's try again Liu Kang special one I have three buffs and I still get 100% Let's try to figure this out because if it does stack 20% special attack damage boost per unique buff unique buff right but it seems to stack with the director's share because I have three stacks and it makes sense but that's not unique buff but okay and that means now I can actually break some damage records Hmm. MK11 Sindel, Damage Queen, one of my favorite cards, and I'm gonna try to break the damage record with her first. All damage gear on Sindel, and then we have support on Cyrax, Bowling Stones, Director's Share, of course, and then Fujin have the full curse setup. And then let's check out the talents too. All damage. Critical damage, special 2 damage, unblockable damage, this one probably won't make any difference, and then death mark. Alright. So, what we need is to stack curse. We need hurricane, we need the shield break, but Sindel does that on tagging for free. So, immediate special 2, let's see the damage now. 800,000 times 3 and then 1.6 mil that's like 3.2 plus 800 that's like 4 million damage now let's try to increase this we only had 3 stacks of curse now let's try to get 4 stacks and we should also try to get some death marks but stacking death mark and curse it's quite difficult, they expire too fast. Two curse. Three, four curse. Come on, death mark. Alright, here we go. Tagging Sindel, hurry up. Shield break, special two. 887,000. And then 1.7 million. What was the first time? 816,000? And now we have 887. That's a lot of more damage. Now, is it possible to get five stacks of curse? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try. And we're gonna have to get four stacks, combo ender, then tag out, no matter what. We got the five stacks now. And no, the death mark is gonna expire. Come on. 957,000. 1.8 million on the last hit all right i have to try with mk11 Liu kang because i know his special 2 is more powerful and now i don't have shield break on tag in so i need to get the shield break with fujin which might be a bit difficult same talents as before all right here we go tag in Liu and we did not get an extra curse unfortunately we only have three stacks now and uh, the reason we have to tag out before we know is because if we stay in wait that means they might be able to hit us and we're gonna waste time so it's better to just tag out immediately and just hope for the best so now we have three stacks and we also need to get a shield break from the combo ender we have 50 percent chance but still quite difficult 
Still no shield break. Four stacks of curse. We have five stacks of curse and a shield break. Alright, here we go. Special two. Oh my god, 2.8 million on the last hit. This gotta be... I don't know how much this is. I'm gonna have to count it. So we did 5.7 million damage. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is crazy. This is not even in the towers. This is Shao Kahn Tower. Same as Faction Wars. And I'm just gonna show you something. Imagine if I did this in Elder Wind Tower. 600% damage boost. 225% damage boost. And then another 300% damage boost. Or what if I did this in the crypt with this? 2140% damage boost. I mean, I would try, but I don't know which battle I can try this in. They're gonna die too fast. Is there any battle that you know or any modifier where I can actually try this? Let me know in the comments. Now let's check out the list I made when I tried all the special tools. Same team, same gear, same everything. And as you can see, MK11 Liu Kang, number one. However, I did not have all the diamonds maxed out. I still don't have all them maxed out, so it's impossible for me to do a 100% accurate, perfect test. But I still think there's a few characters that have the potential to be in the top 10, and maybe even one or two to challenge MK11 Liu Kang. I'm not gonna say who it is because I can't really prove it, but let's just say I'm kinda 80% sure that at least one character will beat Liu Kang and that two or three other characters will qualify for top 10 or maybe two characters I'm not sure and also I made a mistake with Circle of Shadow Quan Chi I tested him against Strike Force Johnny Cage which is not fair because he do get 10% damage boost against Strike Force so his value is not accurate he's actually out of top 20 and uh, mk11 sub-zero is actually in top 20 which makes me happy because it's one of my favorite cards shout out to barakan roll for pointing this out all right this video just i was just testing the dragon teeth uncommon piece on flaming fist luke kang and then this video just became something totally different Anyway, I hope you still like this video. Take care. See you next time.